providing care to their people. Okay. So, under this act, local authorities must do the following. First is, they should do assessment. So, when you say carrying out assessment, this is seeking out or identifying people who need care. Okay? So, when you say assessment, you need to know, you need to see, you need to observe, you need to identify. Sino-sino ba? yung mga tao na kailangan ng tulong o nangangailangan ng care. Okay? So, before you're going to apply or before you are going to provide care, you need first to assess who are the people who need care. Who's one is that? Okay? Then, aside from that, they need to focus on the assessment. So, after um, determining who are those people that need care, they need to prioritize. So, which group or which individual or which community needs to be rendered or needs to be um, taken care of first? Okay? Then, um, of course, in providing care, if you have identified a lot of groups, people, or individuals that needs care, you may not be providing care to them at the same time. That's why there's a need of prioritizing uh, whom you are going to give care initially. And then, the others will follow. Third is, you need to involve person in assessment. So, when you say involving person in assessment, uh, the one who will be um, doing the assessment should be working together with the like the local governments, other healthcare organizations, to which, okay, or to where they want to provide care, okay? So, you need to involve other person in terms of identification or determination of individuals who need care. Then, next one, you need to provide access. Access to what? Of course, access to care, okay? Like services, okay? programs and other um, access to healthcare. You also need to consider care services that is available and care services that can be provided to those people who needs care. And of course, use funded care and support. This is very important. Uh, in terms of providing care, of course, you need a sufficient Okay? You need a sufficient or enough fund so that as much as um, you wanted to promote care and to give care, you will be needing a fund that would be, uh, it can be a financial fund okay? or any other resources like manpower and other supports from the other um, support groups or the government itself. Okay? Take note that providing care will not be as easy as you are thinking because especially if um, the organization identified a lot of individuals, communities, or uh, people who need care. Okay? So, fund and support is very important. Okay. So, what are the principles of <coughs> care act? of 2014. Yeah. So, um, the CARE Act of 2014 is being guided with the following principles. First is empowerment. So, when you say empowerment, empowerment of those individuals that you want to receive care. When you say empowerment, you let them speak, you let them decide okay, um, on their health status. Another principle is protection, of course, protecting uh, individuals from any risk or hazard that would lead them to um, any um, unhealthy situation or unhealthy um, environment. Prevention, so what do you prevent is, of course, to prevent any um, deterioration of health. Proportionality is delivering care, okay, that is the same 
to all those people who need care. Okay, so if one, you need to also have a partnership with the people that you are um, giving or those people who need care and accountability of those providers who provide care. So take note, when you say accountability, this is synonymous with the word responsibility. Or respond, ikaw ang merong, um, kumbaga, sagot mo, or ikaw ang merong uh, responsibilidad, or accountable ka, ikaw ang dapat na um, sumagot, or ikaw ang dapat na mag uh, foresee or mag-go over kapag man kang uh, binibigay na care. So, kumbaga, ano mo yun, responsibility mo yun. So, sa mga taong, kailangan mong bigyan ng care. You're accountable with the care that is being provided. Okay? So, those are the different um, principles of Care Act of uh, 2014. Okay, so that's the second act. So, tapos na tayo sa Equality Act of 2010. And we are also finished with the um, Care Act of 2014. The third one is the Mental Act of uh, 2007. Okay, so what are the objectives of this act? So, from the name of the act itself, so of course, it's focusing on the mental health of the people. Okay. So, take note that physical health is equals to your mental health. Okay. If you are giving importance to your physical health, you uh, you should also give the same okay, uh, importance to your mental health. Okay. Why? Sometimes, some people are only focused on their physical health. Okay. The definition is being healthy is being fit, okay? They have a good um, build of their body, okay? But being healthy is not only the physical attributes of a person. It should cover all the aspects. Their mental health, their social life, okay? Uh, cultural, spiritual. So it should cover all aspects of an individual. Okay. So, for this specific um, act, this is a legislation governing the compulsory treatment of certain people who have mental disorder, um, which is um, being highlighted on the mental, ha uh, mental Act on the year 1983. So, the purpose is to um, amend the previous act in numbers of areas where it was generally agreed uh, on the reform that was needed. So, actually, this act was introduced on the deprivation of liberty safeguards through amending the Mental Capacity Act of 2005 and extended the rights of victims by amending their domestic violence crime. Okay. So, I now focus. What's the focus of, of Mental Act? 20, uh, 20, uh, 2007. So first is, they need to know or every professional should know what's the definition of a mental disorder. Okay? So if you are a healthcare practitioner, healthcare professional, you should be familiar or you should know what's the definition of mental disorder. Okay? Then, Another is, they have a set criteria for detention. So, who are only those patients uh, that needs to be uh, detained? Pag sabi mo, detention yung kailangang ilagay sa isang lugar during their treatment and management. Okay? Then, uh, another focus is professional roles who are the different professionals that are responsible in terms of um, providing care to those patients with mental disorder. Professionals should also know the different mental health review tribunal. When you say uh, tribunal, these are uh, almost the same with the policies, 
rules and laws in terms of those people with mental uh, disability or mental disorder. Another focus is the supervised community treatment. So, if we are talking about mental health and we involve the community, so people who are uh, providing care for those people with mental disability or mental um, disorders should be supervised by uh, persons that are specialized or um, expert to these types of condition. Okay? So those people in the community that caters to uh, patients with mental disorder needs to be supported by a more professional and more expert when it comes to the mental disorder. Okay? Another thing is involvement of the relatives or their nearest their relative. Take note that family support or support system for patients with mental disorder or mental uh, disability is very important. Okay? So, they are very important in terms of their treatment, their recovery. So, um, their nearest relative or any support system should be involved in terms of the treatment and management. Another focus is we need to have age-appropriate services. When you say age-appropriate services, the services, the care that uh, should be provided for those patients with mental disorder should be in relation or it should be appropriate or it should be equal to the age. Okay? Um, because patients with mental disability, especially if they are on a different bracket of age, may need different types of treatment and services. The therapy, the activities of a patient who is a teenager may not be the same for an adult patient with mental disorder. Okay? So the services, the treatment should be uh, related or should be appropriate to the age of the patient. Okay? Whether it's a child, it's a teenager, it's an adult, or maybe it's an Can we wait till my father is here so I can beg him to let me go? I really want to go. But else, it should also focus on an advocacy. When you say advocacy, he's right, he's this coming, is your right? goal, this is your mission, your vision. And how are you going to take care of patients with mental uh, disability or mental disorder?